Well, a man who made millions in the DFW restaurant business and lost a few too tells all in a new book. It's called Fork Fight. The publisher says it's the most compelling, insightful, white knuckled journey behind the restaurant curtain since Anthony Bourdain's Kitchen Confidential. Wow. That's, that's a great review. And it's great to have new author Mark Brzezinski back on Good Day. Hey there, Mark. Good to see you. Good morning, Lauren. Good to see you again. How are you? You know, I was like, you've opened more than like 50 restaurants in our area. Um, most notably, I'm going to say is Payway, Asian Diner, uh, Velvet Taco, Busy Burger recently. Payway, obviously a, a, a big, big uh, fan. My whole family is a fan of that one. Um, some fantastic success. Uh, Payway for you, that, that was your money king, right? That, that was that was the big hit, no doubt about it. A lot, lot leading up to that, but that was, yes, the big hitter. Yeah, what what was it, do you think, that made you so successful? Well, I'll tell you what, I always tell people that first and foremost, I'm a consumer, right? Mm -hmm. When I when I go do things, when I go travel, I always pay attention. I, I don't try to go in with a preconceived idea of what I want to do. I try to pay attention to what people are eating, what the trends seem to be. Uh, I'm not trying to create great new things. I'm trying to make things a little better than they currently were. Uh, huh. It's very hard to be an innovator, but to be an innovator, you first have to be an observer. That's interesting, huh? I get it. I mean, you clearly have got that figured out, the, the, how, to, how to do things Sometimes. well. But I also think, I, I, and I think what at least to me stands out in this book, uh, along with some of the, the, the old photos that we're showing right now, but I love how raw and real you are. You also, you know, you talk about the fantastic successes, but also the heart-wrenching losses as well and not just professional um but personal as well i mean i know there was like this couple year period where you had to like close a restaurant sell your house you got divorced you declared personal bankruptcy like you admit there were there were dark times that that you barely made it out of yeah and thank you for mentioning that lauren it, the, the book really isn't like a, a tell-all book or an autobiography it's the journey of an entrepreneur the lessons that I want to share are all about the ups and downs of entrepreneur, the, the how to treat failure and success somewhat equally if you can over time, but to know that failure is just part of the journey. And my book, I call it a journey book, and it, yeah. and it goes through the highs and the lows, and it, and it does expose some very raw times in my life, no doubt. Yeah, and I'm curious. I mean, you talk about those who, who helped you along the way. You, you didn't paint a, a very rosy picture about uh, Phil Romano, another, you know, big restaurant guy in our area. Um, did, did you speak with him about the book? And is this more about, like, you know, a competitor and, and you push each other? Or, or w w what happened with that? Now, Phil and I are so, so similar in so many ways. Yeah. I think it's kind of like it, I, I have great respect for Phil. You know, there's no doubt about it, but behind the scenes, you know, he can be a little tough. He knows that. I know that. <laughs> we work together on enough projects to have mutual respect. But in a, in a book like this, you have to tell real stories. And if you want people to believe you, and so sometimes the stories aren't pretty. But, um, you know, Phil and I have had great success working together at Trinity Groves, at, at, at right. ET's back in the day, at Macaroni Grill. So I have nothing but great respect. But... Again, if you're telling stories, you've got to tell stories that are real. So true. So, so true. The good and the bad. Thank you so much for sharing. I can't read the re wait to read the rest of it. Uh, the book is titled Fork Fight. And, uh, Mark, you've got two signings, by the way. We want to let everyone know. The first is June 3rd from 4 to 7 at uh, Interbang on uh, Lovers. And then uh, late afternoon, July 29th at Barnes & Noble at North Park where the uh, Barnes & Noble there. We'll put a link with all the details uh, as well as more on the book at fox4news.com. Thank you so much for, for sharing your story, Mark. Appreciate it. Lauren, thank, thank you for the time this morning.